Jeff Gallifer. So uh, let's get through the dream hour. He's been unbeatable this campaign. How is he coming into today? Yeah, super, Jane. He's uh, got the horrible barrier, unfortunately, which is uh, Ollie and none of us are very happy about. But uh, his form's really good. He's, he's come through. Uh, he's really hit the line well in his two wins and stepping out to the trip, which is unknown, but he gives us the right indicators that he'll do it. So fingers crossed and uh, just need some luck from the draw. Yeah, in terms of the barrier draw, is it just a matter of jumping and seeing where you land or have you put a plan in place? He can get a bit aggressive, so we've got to go back and just hope that he can uh, save his energy. Peshwa coming into this and stepping up in trip also, uh, but uh, a nice type and he looks pretty ready for it. He's very ready for it and he's a horse that uh, likes a solid pace, self-created solid pace, so he'll go forward. And the last of them, very quickly, uh, Alberfeldy Boy. Alberfeldy Boy is a nice stayer, very promising that he'll like to step up in distance, probably one run short to be really ready, but uh, he, he'll go sort of just behind the speed. But you go and get a spot, they're ready to jump. Thank you. All right, they're almost set here for one of our features, the Geelong Classic. Let's head upstairs to Matt Hill. Old Albanian icon is quite reluctant, wanting to lash out a little bit, but goes to an outside Ellie Rideless. Now Mogadishu goes in, so they're just about right as the jockey of Albanian icon Alana Kelly climbs back into the saddle and going in is Sirius Princess. Here's Grand Piero loading forward with Craig Williams, so Dream Hour will be the last also to take an outside Ellie for Damien Oliver. The Geelong Classic, 2200 metres at listed level, the field is set to go, ready. Mogadishu wanting to climb, jockey momentarily out of the saddle, Jamie Mott, an attendant, clambers in. Just as the starter was about to hit the button, Mogadishu on its toes. And now, looks as though uh, Jamie just holding onto the structure at the moment, and they might even back this horse out. Yes, they are. So now Mogadishu pass fit to start. So we'll go back in. So stand by for the Geelong Classic, Mogadishu back in the stalls and they're ready. Set and racing. Aberfeldy boy towards the inside, jumped away pretty well with Satora Beal. Let's roll the dice. Also Ignacio is pushing forward as they get to the judge and driving through is Matopo with that white distinguishing cap. 2,000 to go, Matopo is the leader from Ignacio and then came Aberfeldy boy. Peshwa from the deeps coming over. Pamakali's in between horses, Satora Beal the fence. They were followed by Albanian icon and Sirius Princess around those horses. Rosnamla the rails, then came Let's Roll the Dice who is tucked in and at this stage is one off the fence and would spot the lead about eight as Peshwa goes onto the lead. Back in the field then Grand Piero Amabutho, also Mogadishu and at the end is Dream Hour. To the back section with 1400 to go and it's the grey Peshwa out clear by three lengths. Second is Matopo, third Ignacio, two lengths away Pamakali, then Sir Torabil. Sirius Princess three wide from Aberfeldy Boy, then came along the inside Ros Namla, three quarter of a length, King's Crossing, let's roll the dice. Further back along the inside as they reach halfway is Mogadishu and then came Albanian Icon, just losing a little bit of ground at that stage and then Amabutho back with Grand Piero and last of all is Dream Hour as Peshwa extends the lead now. 900 metres to go, Peshwa kept them running and led five to six lengths, Matopo, a length and a half away, third Satorabil and then Ignacio and Pamakali, Ros Namla, Aberfeldy Bull and then Sirius Princess, King's Crossing going four and five deep to get involved. Let's roll the dice weighted with. They were followed by Mogadishu well back with Albanian Icon. Then Amabutho, Grand Piero as the field start to pack now. Peshwa comes back to them around the corner. It's going to be a staying test as King's Crossing comes around them with Pamakali and also Ignacio. Let's roll the dice, rousted up behind them. Then Sirius Princess and back towards the inside, Ros Namla. King's Crossing reaches the 250 in front, two lengths, Pamakali and Let's Roll the Dice presents down the outside, Grand Piero's running on as well, Let's Roll the Dice at the 150 up to King's Crossing, Grand Piero the outside, Let's Roll the Dice just in front, Grand Piero's driving at it though, and got it, Grand Piero's won it from Let's Roll the Dice, King's Crossing and Aberfeldy Boy a big run a gap dream hour followed by Mogadishu, next to finish Serious Princess and Albanian Icons run a big race, then Ros Namla, Pam 
Amakali, Sir Torabil, then Amabutho, well back Ignacio, a long gap in the field, Matopo, and the runaway leader, Peshwar, at the end. Grand Piero, number three, is the winner of the Geelong Classic, ridden by Craig Williams for Jason Warren. After a good run in the super in pose behind a very nice horse in Mr. Maestro was a big run after sitting three wide the trip on the synthetic the start before. Grand Piero, well supported, has gained the day from Let's Roll the Dice, the two favourites fighting out the Geelong Classic in what turned out to be a really good finish. Kings Crossing at 50 to 1, tried to fend them off and finishes in third. But it's Grand Piero, the gelding by Piero out of Les Society. Win two at start number six for the Grand...